Naruto episodes 123 and 124. So the fights are all continuing. Naruto versus Kimimaro. Shikamaru versus um, Tayuya. Shikamaru goes to punch Tayuya because she doesn't deserve chivalry. But uh, she stops him. The hand is making its way up to her neck. Why doesn't he just do it with his own hand? <laughs> He's got both hands free right now. No, it has to be with ninja magic! <laughs> and then we go to Kiba, who's hiding out. Uh, crushing some grass, maybe trying to make some medicine for Akamaru. Oh, and for himself, Stuk, too, because he's still bleeding from the gut. But he smells mysterious people running through the trees, probably those same mysterious people that he smelled before. So he runs back into the water to keep hiding. And then we go back to Naruto versus Kimimaro, and the same thing is happening that has been happening since this fight started. <laughs> oh, suddenly the Sasuke bucket blows up. Oh, he has... Very spiky hair. <laughs> I guess. Oh, and purple skin. Oh, that. I guess that's his demon form. Answered that question for me. I guess. Naruto doesn't really process what's going on, and he's like, "Ah, oh, Sasuke! <laughs> Long time no see. Let's let's go. Let's head back." Sasuke's answer to that suggestion is diabolical laughter. So Sasuke hops off, and Naruto is like. Oh, he wants to go chase, but then Kimimaro attack. Oh! Is it Guy? No, that's not Guy, that's Lee. What? Like, one day ago he couldn't go upstairs! How is he... here? Oh... I mean, I'm happy, because I love Lee, but I'm confused, because... Of all of the reasons. So, Lee is here, and he tells Naruto to go on ahead and that he will take care of Kimimaro. Lee reminds Naruto that he made the nice guy thumbs up pose to Sakura when he promised to bring Sasuke back. So, go take care of that. I shall stay here and fight Kimimaro. Nice guy promise pose. <laughs> How is Lee here? So, is he the one running through the trees? So it must be him and, like, a couple of other of the students, right? Like, Shino. They wouldn't bring along any of the girls. That'd be insane. Back in the village, the two ninjas who were beaten up, messed up Face Guy and Sanji, are talking to Sonata, and they're like, you sent Kenan out there after those guys? What were you thinking? She's like, I didn't have a choice. We've got no one else at home. We had to do it. Guy suddenly comes running in, probably to tell them that Lee has run off. Oh no, he's come back to find out about the operation. Because, if you recall, it just happened, like, ten minutes ago. <laughs> and that's when a medic guy comes running and is like, Lee's missing. Then back with Lee, he's fighting against Kimimaro. And if you remember, Lee doesn't use ninja magic, so he can only use his body, which is not in shambles anymore, but was eleven minutes ago. Oh, and so he was supposed to take this medicine, but instead of taking the medicine, he took a sake bottle. Because for some reason the bottles look exactly the same when we're right next to each other. On his bedside. Okay. No, it's fine. No, and Apparently there's some horrible thing that happens if Lee ever drinks. Being only 13, I would assume that is the horrible thing. It's back at the fight between Kimimaro and Lee. Lee's like, hang on a second, just as Kimimaro is about to kill him. And Kimimaro does. He stops, like, yes? <laughs> it's time for Lee to take his medicine, which of course is the sake. And, um, <laughs> Kimimaro's like, okay, proceed. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Lee guzzles down the sake and immediately becomes drunk. I guess when he's drunk, he uh, becomes kind of an uncontrollable maniac. As Lee is stumbling around in front of him, Kimimaro's like, What? <laughs> Alright, and so the episode ends there. I feel like that episode is trolling me. I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna open up 124 and it's gonna be like, Just kidding! Here's what actually happened. It makes much more sense than this. <sighs> okay. <laughs> so, no, it, it is something that is actually happening. Lee charges at Kimimaro. He's, I guess, a natural at the drunken fist, and he, um, he just, he starts fighting him drunk. A, Lee is here, and B, Lee is hammered. It's just, it's like, what? <laughs> One episode.
episode ago I was watching a totally different show and all of a sudden this. So he suddenly just passes out and Kimimaro's like, okay, and he slowly approaches like, I feel cautious. <laughs> but it was a trick and now he's uh, back to fighting. Then he passes out again and Kimimaro slowly approaches all like, maybe he's really asleep this time, <laughs> but he's not. Anyway, as that continues, let's go back to Shikamaru. He's losing his upper hand that he had before. No pun intended. And uh, back to Kiba, who is um, still on the run. He can't stay in the water anymore because he's bleeding, bleeding out. Enough about those people. <laughs> back to Lee pretending to be asleep again. Or maybe really being asleep this time. <laughs> See, now he really is asleep. But while he's sleeping, he's flailing around, so when Kimimaro tries to stab him, he keeps missing. And it's funny because Kimimaro is such a serious character. And so he's just kind of like, I'm trying to stab you, but you won't get stabbed. <laughs> Back with Tsunade and Guy, they're talking about what could potentially happen and how strong Lee could become just by drinking a bottle of sa sake. And um, Tsunade is like, oh, but he's still recovering from his injuries. <laughs> is he, though? Is he? <laughs> Maybe they were just exaggerating before when they were telling us how injured Lee was <laughs> from his fight against Kara. I mean, I'm not going to deny it and say that this fight isn't awesome and that they, they did a wonderful job animating it. Um, but I can't get past the silly premise. Oh, people hopping through the trees. Not including Lee. So there are other people separate. So Lee is in a separate group. So I might not be students from the village then. Kibimaro has opted to go curse the and he's gonna do something and I don't want it. Hmm, <gasps> okay, <laughs> so he, all of his bones come out of his arm. Do you have that many bones in your arm? <laughs> he's got a lot of bones in his arm, if that happens. Ow, he spat out his rib cage. From his chest, not his face. Oh, it's a KK Genkai. Like the Sharingan or the Byakugan or whatever Haku did. Sakon has found Kiba, or at least where he got out of the water. I assume that the finale of this episode is gonna be a reveal of who those three people running through the forest are. Okay, and there'll be one for each fight. One for Kiba, one for Shikamaru, one for Lee. Okay, that makes sense. So, Lee is no longer drunk. I guess the the ribcage popping out was buzzkill. Kimimaro explains that he can make as many bones as he wants all over his body. Oh, it's gross. It's just as gross as it sounds. He, he puts bones all over himself, so he's like a, like a porcupine. Okay, so everything's going poorly for all three fights. That's when these three people are gonna show up, right? Shikamaro's being kind of cute. He's like, I hope Azuma comes to save me like last time. Oh no. So Kiba thought he was safe. He, he like, oh, the, the smell of the bad guys going away. But then it turns out Sakon put on Kiba's jacket that he left behind to mask his own smell. Lee is gonna try using the Lotus, but it doesn't work because of all of the crazy spiky bones. <laughs> Everyone's about to die in all three fights simultaneously. Oh, oh, it's the sand kids. <laughs> what? What is happening? <laughs> they called themselves Konoha's allies. The sand ninjas. Um, okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Why? Alright. No. <laughs> Maybe they'll explain more later. <laughs> so Kankuro showed up to help Kiba. Tamari showed up to help Shikamaru. And Gara showed up to help Lee. Which ends up being pretty funny because Shikamaru and Tamara fought each other and Lee and Gara fought each other. I guess Kiba doesn't really have any connection with Gara. Well, I guess Kankuro fought Kiba's teammate. So that's his connection. <laughs> Uh, uh, next up I'm going to be doing a triple feature, and suddenly, so it's 125, 126, 127. 127 and 128 are a joint episode, so now I'm worried that I did my schedule wrong. I guess I have to double check that, so.
we'll see. <laughs> I'll see you next time for whatever ends up being next. <laughs> Bye!